a go-to pregame meal. Actually, I had six eggs, I had rice, and I had seven pieces of uh, uh, chicken thighs. So every single game day, I had that. I had two crustables at halftime and a, and a Gatorade. Let's move over to the NFC and to your former team, the Cowboys, as far as uh, expectations for them this year, especially now that uh, at least one big change, you have the head coach, Mike McCarthy, call in place for Dak in the offense. Um, I went over there uh, probably about three weeks ago and see McCarthy call the plays. It was a totally different team. They were doing some really, really cool stuff with Dak and some of the younger guys, um, just the mentality that they had. I, it's what I wanted to see. Because sometimes when I leave from over there, you know, you, it's a lot of great players, but they're not all together. But for the first time, they're playing together. They're playing with a lot of enthusiasm. And it's amazing to see that. And I'm like, man, is this our year? Is this the year? Because every year is Cowboys year. But I feel like this year is the first year where everything has come together from the coaching with McCarthy. You got, you know, Dan Quinn balling out on defense. And you got the leaders being leaders. Demarcus Lawrence, Michael Parsons, Dak Prescott. Those guys are owning the team. And I love it. So suffice to say the expectations are high, at least for you. Oh, they are very high. I am not only just, you know, someone who played for the Dallas Cowboys, but I am like the, the extreme fan. I know you don't see that over here right now, but when the games come on, I will almost like smash my TV if something bad happens. I'm just, I got to calm down just a little bit. So, uh, <laughs> yes, I am looking forward to the season. I'm looking forward to them playing like they should play, and uh, hopefully they do that. Do you think the head coach is on the hot seat to start the year? Oh, since I played in 2005 with the Dallas Cowboys, every year the coach is on the hot seat. <laughs> there, is the, there is no question about that. So, yes, he is on the hot seat. Not saying that he's going to lose his job, but every coach, every year, if you play for the Dallas Cowboys, you better bring it 100% because you never know because there's somebody who's knocking at the door that's going to sure spot. I want to talk about the D-line specifically as far as the Cowboys because pro football focus, they released their annual rankings. And uh, this year they're ranked at eighth. Even though, you know, obviously Parsons is coming off a great year with 13 and a half sacks. Are they undervalued, underappreciated, that D-line? They are. They're, they're undervalued and way underappreciated. Uh, the athletes that they have coming in, they're young. So they haven't really established, like, who they, they are, right? You got DeMarcus Lawrence and you got, you know, Michael Parsons. They're like, okay, well, who else do they have? But I see some guys, you know, you know coming along that, that are, I mean, great athletes, great ballers. You know, implemented last year. They played really well, so they'll they'll be a sleeper. That's great when you don't have the bullseye on you when you first start. You create that bullseye game nine or ten to let people know who you are because that work that you put in is starting to be your image of who you are. Uh, Zach Martin not in camp for the Cowboys. You think they can uh, get a deal done? I hope that they get a deal done. Um, Zach Zach is a huge part of the offensive line. I saw him, you know. Again, being the man and the captain that, you know, he usually is taking over the offensive line. So they need him this year and they'll get the job done um, because they know that they, they really need him. Hey, sports fans, if you want to see more conversations with athletes and stars, check out these videos right here and be sure to subscribe for more from USA Today Sports.